in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the love and mercy of God as we call to mind our sins and ask for his forgiveness. I confess. Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great sin in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessing in every other direction for all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins. May he bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may preserve in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, for he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you, be, shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give you and your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord Lord remembers remembers his covenant covenant forever. forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. 
You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I will be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. The covenant that we hear of in the first reading of today, where he makes an initiation, he takes the initiative, he invites Abraham, he enters into a relationship with him, which is itself a continuation of having created Adam and Eve. And he says to him, my covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. I wonder what Abraham must have felt when all these great things were being said to him. But you, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. So the Lord, as he was making all these promises, was also asking for a reciprocity, a return of that goodness in that relationship. I'm sure God was fully aware of the kind of, of um, adventure, should I say, that he was entering into when he entered into a covenant with Abraham. God, who is almighty, ever loving, ever merciful, God, who is God, having a relationship with humans. But God, in fairness and justice, knew that God was going to provide for all that man needed in order that he will be able to fulfill his part of the covenant. And so as scary as it may appear, God knew what was entering into. And so over the centuries and over the years, even as the descendants of Abraham, you and I, kept falling back into sin, God never gave up because he said he will never give up on us. And so these are the words of, of hope for us, even as we journey and we enter into the tail end of the season of Lent, the season in which we are reminded of a relationship that we have with God, that we have a covenant with God, God who has promised to do his part, God who has promised to provide us with the necessary ingredients, as it were, that we need in order that we may do our part. As imperfect, as vulnerable as we may be, God is patient with us. God is merciful with us. God is loving to us. He teaches us that in the stations of the cross, and he teaches us that in the history of salvation, when some of the people, some of the prophets, some of the kings that he himself had chosen would fail him from time to time. And so you and I may have failed God from time to time, but God has never given up. This morning he provides us another opportunity to rise up to him and to speak our words of hope to him. This morning he's provided us another opportunity for us to say we are sorry for our sins and the Lord forgives our sins. This morning he provides us another opportunity as he sets a table before us. We who may not be worthy, but he sets a table before us. And so before we go to the table, we will together as church say, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And indeed, our souls shall be healed if we declare that we are not worthy. For we are not worthy, but God has been great to us and God will find us worthy and he will make us worthy if we remain humble and true and do our best in our daily efforts by the graces that he provides let us pray <clears throat> the
that the Lord may bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who govern in this world may receive the assistance of Almighty God in performing their duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those whose lives are darkened by the shadow of sin or doubt may be drawn into the light of forgiveness and peace through the grace and mercy of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all who are preparing to receive the Easter sacrament may be blessed with true knowledge and piety in the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That those who have died may be carried by the angels into new life with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In thanksgiving to God for the 70th birthday of our dear Monsignor Lesante, that the Lord will grant him good health, that the Lord will sustain in him the zeal and the love that he has for his work, that the Lord will continue to grant him many more loyal and faithful people to serve with him, that his kingdom will be established, that his gospel message will be preached throughout the world. For Monsignor Lesante, we pray to the Lord. We also pray for Marcos Sencio, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in the world, especially in <coughs> Ukraine and in Russia, and for peace in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Beloved, may you quietly let us pause and present the rest of our petitions to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. God of abundant blessings, hear the prayers we have offered to you for the sake of the world through Jesus Christ <clears throat> our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let's give please the sacrifice which we offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts, Lord. Let us pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Father, the Almighty. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord, we pray on these sacrificial offerings that they may profit our confession and the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, Bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of our holiness. Make holy therefore all these gifts we pray by sending thy your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. 
he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and proclaim his resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. We give you thanks on the birthday of Monsignor Lissanti, and we dedicate him to you, that you will continue to bless and protect him and grant him good health, many more years of peace and service in your sight. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face of mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Of the serious command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Lord Jesus Christ, we faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and we pray for God that there is something as condemnation that help in my dead body. Beloved, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. This is he who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lamb.
Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.